Military personnel are members of the state's armed forces. Their roles, pay, and obligations differ according to their military branch Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, and sometimes Coast Guard, rank officer, non-commissioned officer, or enlisted recruit, and their military task when deployed on operations and on exercise. Overview Those who serve in a typical large land force are soldiers, making up an army. Those who serve in seagoing forces are seamen or sailors, and their branch is a navy or coast guard. Marines serve in a Marine Corps. In the 20th century, the development of powered flight aircraft prompted the development of air forces, serviced by airmen and women. Designated leaders of military personnel are officers. These include commissioned officers, warrant officers and non-commissioned officers NCOs. For naval forces, non-commissioned officers are referred to as petty officers. Organizations other than state armed forces include military personnel, such as paramilitary organizations and non-state armed groups. Demographics Most personnel at the start of their military career are young adults. For example, in 2013 the average age of a United States Army soldier beginning initial training was 20.7 years. Historically, the use of children under the age of 18 for military purposes has been widespread, see children in the military, but has been in decline in the 21st century. According to Child Soldiers International, as of 2017 approximately two-thirds of states worldwide had committed to restrict military recruitment to adults, while 50 states were still recruiting personnel aged 16 or 17, including most of the world's major military powers, most personnel are male. The proportion of female personnel varies internationally, for example, it is approximately 3% in India, 10% in the UK, 13% in Sweden, 16% in the US, and 27% in South Africa. Many state armed forces that recruit women bar them from ground close combat roles roles that would require them to kill at close quarters. Compared with male personnel and female civilians, female personnel face substantially higher risks of sexual harassment and sexual violence. According to British, Canadian, and U.S. research, personnel who join as officers tend to be upwardly mobile young adults from age 18. Most enlisted personnel have a childhood background of relative socioeconomic deprivation. For example, after the U.S. suspended conscription in 1973, the military disproportionately attracted African American men, men from lower status socioeconomic backgrounds, men who had been in non academic high school programs, and men whose high school grades tended to be low. As an indication of the socioeconomic background of British Army personnel, in 2015 three quarters of its youngest recruits had the literacy skills normally expected of an 11 year old or younger, and 7% had a reading age of 5 to 7. Recruitment <inaudible> 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 Military personnel may be conscripted recruited by compulsion under the law or recruited by attracting civilians to join the armed forces. In states that do not rely entirely on conscription, the process of attracting children and young people to military employment begins in their early years by means of, for example, visits to primary and secondary schools, military schools and youth organizations such as cadet forces advertising across television, radio, cinema, online including social media, the press, billboards, brochures and leaflets, and merchandising, and recruitment stalls e.g. air shows, military amusement parks such as Patriot Park in Russia, National Days and Armed Forces Days. 
Bespoke Recruitment Video Games and Association of Military Life with Action Films A former head of recruitment for the British Army, Colonel Latterly Brigadier David Alfrey, explained the British approach in 2007, "...our new model is about raising awareness, and that takes a ten-year span." It starts with a seven-year-old boy seeing a parachutist at an air show and thinking, that looks great, from then the army is trying to build interest by drip, drip, drip." Once they are old enough to apply, candidates for military employment typically apply online or at a recruitment center. Many eligibility criteria normally apply, which may be related to age, nationality, height and weight body mass index, medical history, psychiatric history, illicit drug use, criminal record, literacy and numeracy, proof of identity, satisfactory references, and whether any tattoos are visible. A minimum standard of academic attainment may be required for entry, for certain technical roles, or for entry to train for a leadership position as a commissioned officer. Candidates who meet the criteria will normally also undergo a medical examination, a battery of questions to test aptitude, and tests of physical strength and stamina. Most state armed forces that enlist minors persons under the age of 18 are required by law to obtain the informed consent of one or both parents or legal guardians before their child's enlistment can take place. In practice, consent is indicated on a form, which parents, guardians sign. Once enlistment has taken place, recruits are subject to military terms of service and begin their initial training. Some, who actively oppose military recruitment practices in the belief that they are misleading, harmful or immoral, engage in counter-recruitment activity. <laughs> <laughs> Initial training Military personnel must be prepared to perform tasks that in civilian life would be highly unusual or absent. In particular, they must be capable of injuring and killing other people, and of facing mortal danger without fleeing. This is achieved in initial training, a physically and psychologically intensive process which resocializes recruits for the unique nature of military demands. According to an expert in military training methods, LT Colonel Dave Grossman, initial training uses four conditioning techniques role modeling, classical conditioning, operant conditioning, and brutalization. For example, throughout initial training, Individuality is suppressed e.g. by shaving the head of new recruits, issuing uniforms, denying privacy, and prohibiting the use of first names. Daily routine is tightly controlled e.g. recruits must make their beds, polish boots, and stack their clothes in a certain way, and mistakes are punished. Continuous stressors deplete psychological resistance to the demands of their instructors e.g. depriving recruits of sleep, food, or shelter, shouting insults and giving orders intended to humiliate, and Frequent punishments serve to condition group conformity and discourage poor performance. The disciplined drill instructor is presented as a role model of the ideal soldier. In conditions of continuous physical and psychological stress, the trainee group normally forms a bond of mutual loyalty, commonly experienced as an emotional commitment. It has been called a we feeling and helps to commit recruits to their military organization. Throughout their initial training, recruits are repeatedly instructed to stand, march, and respond to orders in a ritual known as foot drill, which trains recruits to obey orders without hesitation or question. According to Finnish Army regulations, for example, the close order drill, is essential for the esprit de corps and cohesion for battlefield conditions, gets the recruits used to instinctive obedience and following the orders enables large units to be marched and moved in an orderly manner and creates the basis for action in the battlefield in order to ensure that recruits will kill if ordered to do so they are taught to objectify dehumanize their opponent as an enemy target to be engaged which will fall when hit 
They are also taught the basic skills of their profession, such as military tactics, first aid, managing their affairs in the field, and the use of weaponry and other equipment. Training is designed to test and improve the physical fitness of recruits, although the heavy strain on the body also leads to a rate of injury. Topic: <laughs> Terms of service. Recruits enter a binding contract of service, which may differ according to rank, military branch, and whether the employment is full-time or part-time. Minimum service period Full-time military employment normally requires a minimum period of service of several years, between two and six years as typical of armed forces in Australia, the UK and the US, for example, depending on role, branch, and rank. The exception to this rule is a short discharge window, which opens after the first few weeks of training and closes a few months later, and allows recruits to leave the armed force as of right. Part time military employment, known as reserve service, allows a recruit to maintain a civilian job while training under military discipline for a minimum number of days per year in return for a financial bounty. Reserve recruits may be called out to deploy on operations to supplement the full-time personnel complement. After leaving the armed forces, for a fixed period between four and six years is normal in the UK and US, for example, former recruits may remain liable for compulsory return to full-time military employment in order to train or deploy on operations. Topic. Military law Military law introduces offences not recognized by civilian courts, such as absence without leave AWOL, desertion, political acts, malingering, behaving disrespectfully, and disobedience C, for example, offences against military law in the United Kingdom. Penalties range from a summary reprimand to imprisonment for several years following a court-martial. Certain fundamental rights are also restricted or suspended, including the freedom of association e union organizing and freedom of speech speaking to the media. Military personnel in some countries have a right of conscientious objection if they believe an order is immoral or unlawful, or cannot in good conscience carry it out. Posting and deployment Personnel may be posted to bases in their home country or overseas, according to operational need, and may be deployed from those bases on exercises or operations anywhere in the world. The length of postings and deployments are regulated. In the UK, for example, a soldier is expected to be on deployment for no more than six months in every 30 months. These regulations may be waived at times of high operational tempo, however. <inaudible> Perks Perks of military service typically include adventurous training, subsidized accommodation, meals and travel, and a pension. Some armed forces also subsidize recruits' education before, during and or after military service. Examples are the St. Jean Military College in Canada, the Welbeck Defence Sixth Form College in the UK, and the GI Bill arrangements in the US conditions for participation normally apply, including a minimum period of formal military employment. Topic Appearance While on duty, military personnel are normally required to wear a military uniform, normally showing their name, rank and military branch. See also Military recruitment Recruit training Women in the military Children in the military 
Transgender people and military service Conscientious objector Conscription Military specialism <laughs>